You're back. Come on, I'm not staying open, not with Wagner around. Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Here. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. All right, girl.
there. Good girl. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be in camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Morning, partner. Careful, big man. Welcome, sir. Hey, you new patient? Up. Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. Thanks. Ain't a crime. Hey there, look out. You see this badge? This is your last chance. Okay, okay. Go on. Let's see about Not this. God damn it! You come with me now!
Let's go, girl. Good morning, sir. the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that, uh, got the venom out of your <clears throat> leg? Mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next All one. Anyway. Fitter outside told me I could grab something on his tab. The one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on this tab. Fine choice. I'll let them know. Bye now.
Real tough guy with a gun in your hand. Stranger, can't you see good? What? It. Look, I didn't see who you are. Just leave me out of this. Hold up. I'm not about to sell to you with that mask on. Give me all your money. Open that thing. All right. Whatever you say. I'll open it. I used to be like you. Then I decided to help folk. You're gonna get the law on you. What are you looking at? Hi there, mister. Hello there. You 
think you look tough hiding behind that? Listen, I don't trick. Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Some business here. Oh. <laughs> Looks like in the mask with just me to the dark. Whoa, 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 whoa! That mask comes back off right this second! That's it! One foot in front of the other. Keep it up! All right. Hey, better on all of us Help me. you just come on easy. I never thought this would happen to me. All right. Hands up. You will raise your hands or you will...
Watch it. Good morning, sir. Hold up. Which bank you about? I'm not about to sell to you with that. Let me Just... into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Looks like a nice little business you got going back.
Stick Someone's on me. gonna help a fella out. Somebody, you ain't please. right in the head, is you? Look out! Hey, buddy! Hey, mister! Mister! I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Hey, partner. Let's go, girl. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough 
to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Please, Arthur. I know it's a lot to ask. So, I'll take that as a yes. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! That gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. 
down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well... Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Be careful. Here we are. Wait inside. Let me get through. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I 
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Hey there! Ah, you good girl? <laughs> me thinking we'd put all that behind us. Just looking to pass through. That's it. You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away, you nosy idiot. Jackass, you need to leave.
Hold up. This here camp ain't got no room to spare. Go with you. Get the hell out of my sight! What happened? Not so tough after all. Yeah. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine Big Valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these don'ts. Not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine, I'm starting to run low, and I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Hello there, mister. Howdy, Fran. Let's go, girl. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. 
I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes, this does look familiar. Close to town. <laughs> Sir, you've rescued me from the depths. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. Well, keep that in mind. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pole peep. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Colm O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Yeah, you 
think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? This wall just needs some good force. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. There'll be more law here any minute. that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, ah! Trust you? You have Let's finally lost your damn mind. Keep moving, Arthur! God damn maniac. I should have left you to hang.
is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown. I think we finally lost him. 
Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Mm -mm. Why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. You done good, girl.
Come on. Easy, easy. You, sir. Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? You really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. 
You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh, here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. from the door. No, no, no! Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I was just checking this equipment. If only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. Hydrophobia. Hydrophobia phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs to spend a minute. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. A much, much longer tube. In the cave to hide it, with bars on the outside. They said you'd be through two days ago. Sorry, what are you talking about? 
Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. I ain't sure what you want from me, lady. Are you dead in the head, boy? Put the loop down in the cellar with the rest of it. Is that clear enough for you, you dumb yak? Which one are you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. Through the back there. No method. That's the worst mistake you could ever make. You think you can steal from me? You got no idea of the pain coming your way. There we go. You want a tighter? Hold God still. Goddamn bastard! You wait, you stinking piece of shit! I'm gonna kill so, you so slow. What you got?
You'll be all right. Okay, then, girl.
Easy, whoa. Here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Not looking to interfere with any sensitive... Well, let's see if this safe is worth the effort. <laughs> 